Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. I'm giving you guys a double upload today, but before we get into today's video, please do me a huge favor and smash that subscribe button. If you haven't, good chances if you're watching this video, about 80% of you have not subscribed to the channel, so please do me a huge favor and go smash that. Also, hit the notification bell to all notifications, that way you know every time I post a new video here on the channel. Man, I haven't done my hair, I'm just barely starting to drink coffee. Today's gonna be a good day though, so what we're going over is um, the little fishing setup that I always keep in my car, in my vehicle, anywhere I go. Now, I obviously drive a fairly small car. It's a Ford Explorer, nothing too big. So I have to, you know, work with the space that I have. I obviously don't want to take up too much space, but if you have a truck or something a lot larger, I used to have a truck, but it broke down. I had to get a new car. But if you have something bigger, you can obviously upsize this. Around me, I fish a lot of creeks and small bodies of water, so this is really all I need. I've got a 6.6 Berkley Cherrywood HD rod, and paired with that, I'll take the reel off the rod here, I have a Bass Pro Shops Johnny Moore's Carbon Light 2.0. I picked this up when they had their, I think it was their sale right before um, everything happened in March. And uh, I went and picked this up. They had like a whole bin of them, like hundreds and hundreds of these reels in different sizes for like 50 bucks a piece, maybe $40 a piece, like on a fire sale. It was crazy. Um, I got the second to smallest size. They make one size smaller than this. This is the JCT 2000. Um, so this is a good, very good um, small mouth reel, very good large mouth reel. Um, and I fish a lot of creeks, like I said, it's a very good, you know, all around reel. I keep it paired most times with six to eight pound test. Usually I'm running eight pound test. If I'm fishing for smaller bodies of water, I'll go six pound. Um, also, if you wanna want to, if you've heart desires, you can put braid on this. I think that it would be able to hold that. I think it has a little braid um, thing you could put on it. If not, they make stuff for that. I'm a lefty, so I reel in with my right hand. Very good, you've got the anti-reverse here. Um, very good reel. I haven't had any problems with it yet. Only problem, actually, I have had this. Make sure you keep this very tight, which sounds self-explanatory, but I almost lost it when I was at the creek last week with a friend of mine. So you definitely, uh, definitely a good pair, of, good pair for that rod. It's very light. It's about a five ounce reel, six point six, no, six foot six rod. I don't go, eat, and it doesn't depend on what I fish for. I never go below six foot. I just like a good six foot rod. I get the good action. I get the good sensitivity, uh, the ability to set a good weight. And the reason I like this one, it's got a very stiff rear here close to the cork handle, but it's got a very sensitive tip. I think it's a medium light. Let me double check. Yeah. Um, this was, I got, this was on sale too. I think I got it for like $25, which obviously it's going to be in my car all the time. It's going to get beat up. It's going to get stuff thrown on top of it. And the way I look at it, if I throw something on top of it and it breaks the rod in half, I'm not going to sit there and cry all day if like my Abu Garcia rod broke in half or something. But yeah, um, it says 4 to 12 pound line. So obviously I've got that covered. 1 8 ounce through 5 8 ounce rod. So you can throw a variety of baits here. Um, and it's done me pretty well. I've caught several do dozen fish on it this year. But something I always carry is a little bit of tackle. Now, obviously, I'll carry like a little sandwich bag or whatever full of soft plastics. During the summer, I usually just bring them with me if I know I'm going to go fishing. Usually carry hard lures because here in Missouri, or at least before the last two weeks, it's been 90 to 100 degrees, heat index every day. And if you keep your car in the garage or you're out in a parking lot or wherever um, at work, um, your soft plastics are going to melt and that's no fun. You lose a lot of money very fast. So I've just got some basics. The terminal tackle. I'll open it up and show you. Obviously, anytime you come across some good fish, this one is actually broken. So I'll have to get... Nope, it's not broken. I don't think. Is it? It is broken. Dang it. I'll have to get a good stringer. Obviously, I need a new one. Um, some weights. Stuff like that. Just basic, simple stuff. Aberdeen hooks for if you're going to be using grubs or whatever some rooster tail stuff like that just I want to have enough baits for a variety of fish anything from sunfish bluegill bass crappie catfish even I've got some bobbers like I said more weights and jig heads as you can see I've got a complete tackle box worth full of them in here got some I like to do a lot of micro fish and I've been into that lately uh, this rod if I do that I'll usually carry like four pound test but a very tiny 164th ounce hook right here uh, this might be 132 ounce but 132nd ounce rather but um obviously if i'm going for like big bertha or whatever i've got some giant swim bait hooks these are half ounce 
So obviously, uh, I could use this for catfish too if I wanted to. Nothing is off the table. So that is that out of the box. That's all my terminal tackle and stuff like that. Obviously, if I'm gonna know I'm gonna take the rod out to catch fish to keep, I'll probably carry a fillet knife with me. But these are some hard baits that I use. Just a good variety. I've got all my poppers and topwaters in here. Some poppers, especially this time of year, early morning, late afternoon. If I'm driving, I go by a spot that I know I can fish there legally. I'm gonna jump out of the, the car and uh, you know, cast a few times. My favorite topwater bait besides like a popper, the whopper plopper. Uh, I've, I, this is the only Whopper Plopper I have ever owned, and I've had it since 2015, or right around the time it came out, 2015, 2016, something like that. Um, River to Sea, um, I've probably caught a good 250 fish off these. I had to replace the back hook on it because it got bent to hell from a uh, fish. And you can literally see, I've had this thing hung in trees multiple times. But yeah, I've got a micro bait in here, for example, if I'm fishing for panfish. A good frog, you can never beat that. Nice and squishy, a good black frog. Um, nothing too too difficult to use. Lunker hunt lures. But yeah, I usually carry this. I'll usually, if I'm going to be traveling long distances and I don't think I'm going to fish, I'll just duct tape these together with the reel, probably in a separate little thing. But uh, it, let's see, six six cut in half. It's about three foot, so about you know over half my size because I'm a very short dude. But yeah, that is what I carry for um, in my car every day anywhere I go. Now the one thing I will say, it's always good to probably keep extra line uh, in your car in a shaded area because most people don't know this, but when you keep line uh, in the sun too long, it starts to degenerate and really gets weak and loses a lot of its not strength and all that. So definitely, um, if you're going to keep your reel in the car uh, for long periods of time, be sure you switch it out every month, month and a half or so. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a comment down below. Um, what, if you carry a fishing rod in your car anywhere you go, if, for example, you live in a rural area, obviously I live closer to a city than most people. But um, tell me, what are you carrying? If you have any suggestions of what I should carry in my car, any types of lures, baits, anything like that, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.